Hey guys, Howard here with Wider Shade of Pale, an arrangement for guitar, including slide, which you uh, just saw. So I will take you through all of that, okay? The uh, rhythm guitar part, uh, the chord changes, and then the slide part as well. So uh, a couple of notes on what I'm using here. For the chords, I'm using an ultra clean sound with uh, chorus and delay. <laughs> sounds kind of nice. And then on the slide guitar part, which I'll get into in a bit, uh, I'm using a bit of gain. I'm using my Orange Crush RT20 practice amp, using the uh, built-in distortion in the amp and a little bit of delay on that as well, okay? So anyway, let's get started with the chords. Now, uh, you can see this played in a few different ways, and I'm all cool with that, trust me, you know? I'm just showing you, sharing with you the way I like to play it, and uh, you can call the chords by whatever names you might like. Uh, but the first chord obviously is a C. And as you can see, I'm just kind of arpeggiating all of these chords the same. The first two notes of the chord followed by the remaining notes. And then we've got B over G. Or G over B if you like. <laughs> then we've got A minor. And A minor 7 with a G in the bass. So those will be our first four chords. And then we're going to move to an F chord. I just play it like that to capture the notes that I want, but if you're more comfortable playing a full F chord, by all means do that. But what I'm doing is I'm picking the sixth string followed by the D string. Okay, so I'm not playing that fifth. And then we have uh, essentially that A minor shape again. You can look at it that way, but with a G, or excuse me, with an E in the bass. So we're swinging up to the sixth string, skipping that A string again. Right, so we have. And then we go to a standard uh, campfire style, D minor. And then you can look at this as a D minor seven with a C in the bass, or you can look at it as an F with a C in the bass. It's all good. So for that D minor, I'm on the D string and following through. Form your D minor seven shape, put your C in the bass, so we're skipping the D string this time. Although sometimes I occasionally hit the D string anyway, and it still kind of sounds good. So now we have F, A minor seven over E, straight D minor, D minor 7 with a C in the bass. Okay, so let's back up and do those eight chords. Okay, now we're going to move to a G, and I'm playing it like this with my uh, second finger on the third fret of the sixth string and my ring finger in the third fret on the B string, okay? And the way I play this descending line is like so. Okay, so what I've done is I bring that second finger down to the D string at the uh, third fret as well. Then to the second fret. Then finally open. see that I'm just going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, and leading with that descending line. So let me do that really slow so you can see exactly what's happening in the right paw. and the G just like that as you can see. You can see the chords on the screen. I think that sounds kind of nice, especially with the chorusing and everything, okay? So that whole entire first chord sequence is played like so. Let's talk 
about the arrangement for a second. Then you want to repeat all of that, but only through this. Right, you'll take it up to that point, and then you'll play all of that again, okay? So in other words, you take it up to this point. again. So all of that is going to happen twice, okay? You can hear that on the arrangement, but I thought I would just point that out because it can be a little bit confusing, especially if you're not hearing the lyric. Then from there, we play this. And so it was, right? So you can see what happened there. We played the C, and then the B with the G, or the G with the B, and then A minor, A minor with the G in the bass, F, the A minor 7 with the E in the bass, up to the D minor, all right? So instead of going to the D minor 7th, we go to the G chord. And we're off into the chorus, which is very similar from the verse, except the tail end of it is different, okay? So the chorus is like so. is like the first time when we you went to the C, the F, and the G, and so on. We went C, F, G with a quick F to G, right? And back in, right? But at the tail end of the chorus, we play C, F, C, and then G7. And that's the chord progression, all right? So let's get into that slide guitar bit. It's a gorgeous melody, of course, and I thought it would just be kind of cool to play it on slide. You can see the tab up on the screen, but let me take you through it nice and slow. So much fun to play. Okay, and as an extra little added tidbit on the recording, I added that second line that comes at the tail end of the main melody. Let me play it for you with the audio, and I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about, and I'll put the tab up on the screen for you as well, in case you're playing with a friend or you just want to make a recording of it yourself, okay? Here we go. So nice and slowly on that. It's a very simple line, uh, but let me play it for you slowly. So there you go with an arrangement of Wider Shade of Pale, a great classic song and really fun to play. The chords, the, the melody on slide, all of that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.